I would list so some questions from the homework papers. We have three questions which are asked right now. Firstly, let's find the one which I have solved in some classes. If I remember, where was that question? Was it in the last homework? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. This one. Okay. So first we will solve this question, then the other two questions. Now everybody, if you have some problems about this, you may listen to us also. Or you may press forward in the video. So now, uh, in written part, there is given three sides, three parts are equal to each other, which is AB, AC, and AD. The three parts, they have the same length. Let's overline them with another color so we may see the idea easily. A, B, A, C, and A, D. These three of them, they have the same length. So now the other things, if they are not visible for you, here we have X, here we have 25 degree, and there was written these two parts. So now let's continue. Remember the idea, if we have same angles and can't use directly, we name them by using some other kind of letters. For example, mostly when we have isosceles triangle, we name the same angles, or when we have angle bisector, we name the same angles. So right now in here, the first one, the first visible one, the isosceles triangle ABC, these two angles must be same because that because of AB and AC are same. After that, AB and AD, it doesn't look well, but it says that their lengths are same. Their lengths are same. If you have an isosceles triangle in this form, if you have an isosceles triangle in this form, and they say that these sides are same, so these two angles must be same. Okay, so in here the base angle A and 25, in here I must have the angle A and 25. So after that we must, we must use X and A, we must use X and A, we must move them all to the one place, we must move them all to the one place. Right now, you can use several ways. You can use several ways. For example, you can say that this is 180 minus A plus X. Then this is also 180 A plus X. 180 minus A plus X. But I will use the exterior angle, which is, let's use another color. This one is the exterior angle of the triangle AEC. A, E, and C. So one exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior angles, which is not mixed with, which is, this one is equal to X plus A. Understood? Here? I hope that. So after that, here we have another triangle. Let's use, let's try to find some other color for it. The blue one. So. This angle is also the exterior angle of this blue triangle, which is B, E, and D. The exterior angle of this triangle. So X plus A, which is the exterior angle, must be equal to sum of two interior angles. Sum of two interior angles, which is for B, E, D. Sum of two interior angles, which is A plus 25 and plus 25. A plus 25 and plus 25. We have same thing in both sides or subtract A from both sides. So that X is equal to 50 degree. Okay? So now let's find the other two questions. The 14 and 15 question. After that, let's go with my way. Perhaps. Because no one has asked another question. So in this empty part, we will put the 14 and 15. I think it was up there. Come on. 14 and 15. First in the 14th one.
is Will you use the bus? Okay, stop. So now this was the question which you ask. Let's remember this question firstly. O, A, C, E, they are parallel, which are O, A or O, B? O, A, ah, they are direct to each other, pardon. They are right to the each other, which is the right angle shown over there, they showed. And the ones which are parallel, O, B and C, D. O, B and C, D, they are parallel. Let's show it by using an arrow over there. Then the 42 degree is written over here. And we must find the X, is, it is also written over there on the shape. So let's go from the shape. Let's continue from shape. So actually this is the same question this is the same question between two parallel connected line segments remember the idea from each connection point draw another parallel then you will have some equal angle so you may have two kind of things it's going to the left or moving to the right so the same angles just rem remember them the same angles smaller ones are same also, the bigger ones, they are equal to each other for each case. Now, let's do that in this shape. Here we have two parallel lines which are connected in here. This is the most important point between them. So if you draw the parallel, goes through from this point. So, 42 degrees will be same with which angle? It will be same with this angle. Between the, between the parallels and they have opposite direction 42 will be same with this so this line and this one they cut each other so this part will also be same with 42 because of vertical angle you may also say that you may also say that the 42 will be same with this part by using the idea of corresponding yes yes of course whenever you want Okay, learn and come back if you want to. So now, if this part 42, here we have 90 degree. So to complete it to 90 degree, it must be how much? 48, I think, huh? 48. 40, 40, 80, and 8 plus 2, then 90, 48. This part is going to be 48 degree. So now I will extend this one, and the angle in here should be same with this 48. They have opposite directions between the parallels. If this is 48, x is equal to 180 minus 48. Minus 50 is 30, so it must be 130. Okay. Uh, he has asked one more question. Let's do that also. It's a very simple question, but some of you may have made, you may have done a lot of unnecessary steps. Now let me try to show it to you. Let me try to show it to you. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so now everybody, the written things which are the right angles, I think they should be shown here. Let's not look for them one by one, because it will take time. So after that, I, th I hope that you are able to see. Am I right? This was the 15th question from the second homework. If I remember well. The 16, okay. The numbers are so... Okay. So, in these questions which are related with 90 degree, I also use naming because naming will be easier. So, firstly, in here we have two same angles because of the vertical angles. Two lines cutting each other. I can name them as A and A. So here we have a triangle. Here we have F, O, and D. Here we have a triangle. So 90 plus A and plus this part must be 180. So 
especially a plus 3x minus 10 should be 90 degrees because the half is in here so to make it 180 a plus this one should be 190 degree here we have another triangle here we have another triangle if this one is 90 degree the other side will be 90 degree also 90 plus a and plus this one must be 180 from the idea of here you can say that if this is 3x minus 10, the other one will be same because these two angles are same. Because these two angles are same. A plus D is 90. A plus what 90? A plus D is 90. Which is, this one is 3x minus 10 in here. So from there, you also remove both x things to the same place. Some of the angles must be 180. Let's do it very fast form. 5x and 3x makes 8x. Plus 30 minus 10 makes plus 20 is equal to 180. Plus 20 will be minus 20 in here. 8x is equal to 160. So half of 16 is 8, uh, 2. When you divide 16 by 8, I try to make fast, but you know, after 3 o'clock, it is going to be 20. And there will be a step between them. X is equal to 160 over 8. But we can write, we can write directly X is equal to 20. Now, is there any other question which you want to ask to you? No, off from here. Sure. Yeah. Can you solve this one? It's easy, but I can't understand the way. Okay, the twelfth question, Yada or thirteen? I told Yada, which is in Turkish, which means or. I also make too many. I hope that only you listen this video. If I can put nobody else listens this video and sees my mistakes or listens my mistakes in English. So now uh, she asked this question. Uh, perhaps some of you have solved, but let's try to make it very fast. <sighs> hmm. Let's read A, B, C, D, collinear points which are on the same line. They are all on the same line. After that, 90 degree, which is given, I think, in here, which is F, C, and H and BE and CH parallel. BE and CH are parallel. We show them by using an arrow, so it will be easier to think how it works. So after that, after that, what else do we know? We must find X, we must find X. So now, if you extend this one, if you extend this line, look at that, there will be two parallel lines like this. Understood? So if you draw a third one which cuts both of them, let's show the same angles. So between the parallels, these two will be same. They have opposite direction. Is it okay? Okay. Now, in this in this point, this one and this one are vertical. They will be same. Also, in this point, this one and this one will be vertical. They will be same. So these four angles, their measurements are same. Also, the other ones, the other ones which I didn't paint, their measurements are going to be same. So by using that idea, for example, we call first and second, these two angles as corresponding. They have the same direction. That's why we call them as corresponding. Let's come back to the question. If this angle is 48 degree, this part should be 48 degree also. Remember the idea from here. They are, cor they are corresponding angles. After that, here we have two lines cutting each other. This one and the direct one. This one and the direct one. If this angle is 48 degree, the opposite part of 48 will be also 48. Here we have the 90 degree angle. 90 minus 48. What remains for this place? 42. So now x is the part after 42, the complete part after 42. So 180 minus 40 to 138 I think. X is equal. Okay. So now 
Is there any other question which you want to solve? Ask to me. Number 12 from here. Let's go there and find the number 12. The upper one, this one. Okay. Let's solve this one over there. If you want to go, you can go silently. You can go outside. If you want, as you wish. Uh, I can continue at, until 5 o'clock. If you stay, I can continue till then. It will be hard for me to talk because right now I had five hours talking, 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 always talking. As you know, I don't let you to talk, so I must talk. So now, let's solve this question. In here, <clears throat> the first thing, remember that if we have same things and can't use directly, we give them some names, especially angled bisector. Let's give the name. Now, a and A. <clears throat> so after that here we have a point draw a parallel. Here we, we have another we will draw parallel. After we draw parallels, if this is 90 degree, upper part 90 degree. What is the rest? 90 plus. To make it 170 there must be 80. If this is 80 degree, let's give you the case. These two angles must be same. If this is 80 degree, 1A is 80 degree. So now I can write A. Let's clean the A and write 80 degree in here. Let's clean the A's and write 80 degree. If this is 80 degree, other one is also 80 degree. So 80 plus 80, 160 and plus these must be 180. So which is this one must be 20 degree. If this is 20 degree, this part also must be 20 degree because of parallel line. So this part also must be 20 degree. I started from here, go up, 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 then come in here. Now I stop. So I will look for this one. How can I use? If this is 90 degree, these are parallel. So this part also must be 90 degree. That's why x is equal to 90 and 20, 110 degree. Okay. So now, uh, wait a second.